Welcome back. In this teaching video, I'm looking at pure mathematics exam question on exponential modeling and logarithms. Here is the exam question. The percentage P of the population of a small country who have access to the internet is modeled by the equation P equal AB to the power T, where A and B are constants and T is the number of years after the start of 2005. A graph is plotted of log base 10 of P against T. The points are found to lie approximately on a straight line with gradient 0.09 and intercept 0.68 on the log base 10p axes. Part A, find the value of A and the value of B, giving your answer to two decimal places. Please pause the video, have a go at part A once you've got your complete solution, then play the video. Let's have a look at the solution to part A. Now we know that the equation of a straight line with gradient m and y intercept c is given by y equal mx plus c. So I've got y equal mx plus c. Now the y-axis in this scenario is represented by log base 10 of p. So I've got log base 10 of p is equal, the gradient is 0.09. The x-axis in this scenario is represented by t plus the y-intercept is represented by 0.68. It is the intercept on the log base 10p axis. So I've got 0.68. Now, my target is to rearrange this particular equation in this form over here, in order to read off the a and b to two decimal places. So I've got base 10 in the logarithm, I can raise it to this power, and I can set it equal to what I have inside the logarithm. So 10 to the power 0.09t plus 0.68 is equal to p. So ladies and gents, over here we are adding the powers, hence we can split it as a product of two terms with base 10. So I've got 10 to the power 0.09t multiplied by 10 to the power 0.68 equal p. I can rearrange this and write the following. I've got p equal 10 to the power 0.68, so that there's my a, multiplied by 10 to the power 0.09, and power t on the outside, so that there's my b. So I've got a equal 10 to the power 0.68, and I've got b equal 10 to the power 0.09. All that remains is that I need to round off a and b to two decimal places. So let's start off with a. That would be 4.79 to two decimal places. Next we have b, so that would be 1.23 to two decimal places. Okay, so the model P is equal to the A value to two decimal places, which is 4.79, multiplied by the B value to two decimal places, which is 1.23, raised to the power T. And that there completes part A of this exam question. Moving on to part B of the question. In the context of the model, give a practical interpretation of the constant A. Please pause the video, have a go at part B. Once you've got your complete solution, then play the video. Let's have a look at the solution to part B. I'm going to start by substituting t equals zero into my model. So this gives me p equal 4.79 multiplied by 1.23 to the power zero. This in turn gives me 4.79 multiplied by one because 1.23 to the power zero is one. Hence, I get 4.79. Now, the 4.79 is my A. So what is the interpretation of A in context? We're looking at initial because we've substituted T equals 0. In other words, we're looking at the initial population percentage. So how do I write this? Well, ladies and gents, I can write down it is the percentage of the population with access to the internet at the start of 2005. So that there completes part B of the question. Let's have a look at part C. Use the model to estimate the percentage of the population who had access to the internet at the start of 2050. Please pause the video, have a go at part C once you've got your complete solution, then play the video. Now, the solution to part C. The model started in 2005. So we're going from 2005 to 2015. So we're looking at 10 years later. 
So we need to substitute t equal 10 into our model. So I've got p equal 4.79 multiplied by 1.23 to the power 10. So if I put this into my calculator, I get 38%. Okay, so that there is the answer to the nearest whole number. Okay, so this completes part C and this teaching video pure mathematics exam question on exponential modeling and logarithms. If you found the teaching video useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a teaching video.